I don't know what you're so concerned about. It's uh, I just listen, dude. Are you just scared of what people will think of you? I don't. I, uh, I'm not scared of what anybody will think. Then what's the problem? Tommy Jones. What you got going on here? It's basically just a tent and a warm sleeping bag. It's just a magical group of people we put together. Well, I think good people find each other. You look homeless. Is that for this your sidecar? Yeah. Cool. Oh, you bringing a sidecar? Yeah. <clears throat> Almost didn't make it. You guys really fucking pushed it, both of you. Tom drove. 19 and a half. Right? Yeah, which was yeah. not fun. Did you hear from Sean this morning? Yeah. It was even a miracle that Sean could make it. Oh, you guys were jamming <laughs> so <laughs> hard together. It was it I'm was awesome. Doing it, man. Oh, shoddy boy. What's happening? What's up? I figured you'd be uh, changing diapers instead of coming on this fucking trip. I got the whole pack. Oh, that's so awesome, man. <laughs> because I change a lot of diapers. God damn it. <laughs> Here you guys go. I got I brought you guys some fresh underwear. They Excellent. don't fit me. Oh, perfect. I didn't bring any underwear. What are you riding? <laughs> You're gonna do the sidecar? Why not? Well, actually, we can bring some oil and some tranny fluid. I need oil. You're gonna bring all these extra cables? They go to Grossman. I'm stealing one. <laughs> well, because if you once you give them to them, somebody's gonna break a throttle cable. Oh. <laughs> that's that's chopper 101. These are the, these are the lessons you learn. Yeah, you got it. Sometimes you gotta ride the miles to learn that lesson. Though. Well, no, you've had this bike for forever. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I'm a hoarder. Yeah. I'm wow. a parts collector. The way you collect children, I collect <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> Thinking about vasectomies, I had to have my fucking what? nuts ultrasounded yesterday. Caroline's on a really important conference call. Okay. And I've got the baby, and I'm like, fuck, I can't go to a fucking nuts ultrasound without fucking taking a shower first. And I'm standing there, like, naked with the baby, and the baby's screaming, she's like, bring the baby to me! And I was like, ah, uh, and I'm like, bring the baby to me! I start walking down, and she's like, no! Because I walk into her frame completely naked. Oh my god! <laughs> my wife said, you fuck up your face, I'm out. <laughs> and she goes, because it's kind of already fucked up. Well, so, my wife said to me, I am not fucking taking care of you and a baby right now, so fucking exactly. don't do anything. Exactly. And just like in life with your friends, the group that you travel with on the road in these circumstances are very important. It's not for everybody. Like, ride it, like there's dudes that will ride that love motorcycles that would get on that, ride it one block, and be like, fuck, that is fucking nuts. But I will say this. Yeah. It does feel as fun as it looks. There is a parallel between crazy and cool that's existed a lot longer than you and I have been on this earth. I'm yeah. still trying to yeah. figure out the line there. I always say this. I think riding motorcycles does not make you cool. It does not make you special. Anybody can ride a motorcycle. Anybody can get a chopper. Anybody can do that. But not anybody can ride these crazy death traps, okay? Like, and not anybody can just put them together and do all that kind of and stuff. But, home. but the problem is, it does not make you cool. It does not make you special. It just makes you crazy. That was chilly, man. My nipples yeah, got hard. I started to get a little cold. I was like, what if I'm a I was looking at you, Josh, going, man, he must be fucking pretty cold right now, because... Somehow you buttoned your shirt one-handed. You didn't see it fly open? Are you wearing long johns? No. Dad's don't wear long johns. Are you uh, wearing long shots? Look at those legs, man. <laughs> I'm a dancer. Do you have any extra earplugs? You want some earplugs? <laughs> Dude, your motor is loud. Listening to music while you ride is a good way to fucking blow out your ears. Well, I've been doing it for almost half my life. <laughs> what? Huh? And I've never, I've never really done like a thousand mile ride with, with, with a, a sidecar. sidecar. <laughs> and that is crazy, just trying to figure out how to get him in the right spot, you know? And I mean, it, it, and, and Josh, you know, I mean, that guy is a fucking master of that fucking rig. Right? He's an ace. Oh, it's unbelievable. He's an ace. It's and, just unbelievable. And there, these things are like, I liken it to, to old fighter pilots flying these motors through the sky that barely ran. People have no idea either. I mean. My brake doesn't work. Josh's brakes don't Never work. We're bleeding them in that parking lot. They still yeah. don't work. And yet we are still ripping on these things, reacting to things with with things that barely work. Josh, yeah. 
Yeah. You need more? Yeah. Put some in Tom's too. Neither of these two are gonna make it. We're about to rip the fucking ignition apart. I thought it was ignition. <laughs> John takes a gas cap off me. He's like, it's not a gas. I'm like, really? You're screaming on that thing. The faster it's going, the better it goes. Fuck, I miss all that. I don't know. But weekends like this, riding next to my buddy and Josh and fucking Eric and it's just it was fucking awesome man it, like this DVR I needed it more than I've needed anything in my whole life what are you doing my ignition just keeps cutting out that's not good Ooh. well my battery connection's a little loose well that'll definitely do it and then I never noticed that this one was leaking pretty bad and that's what turned the entire transmission black but hey Runs great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like it's I got a quart of oil with me. <laughs> yeah, well, you exactly. know. We're gonna, we're gonna fight over the oil by the end of this thing. <laughs> I'm not thinking about deadlines. I'm not thinking about clients. I'm not thinking about this angry architect. I don't think about fucking. I haven't thought about shit for four days. But like, what's that weird noise? Or is that thing gonna fall off of there? Or damn, that's leaking a lot. You know? It or like, fuck that. We almost died. You know? It's it's so nice as a creative person to remove all of that stress out of my life and do nothing but fucking focus on getting to that next gas station. I think we made it in time. Are we early? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if there were any kind of exchanges that happened while I wasn't around, but <laughs> all I know is I was, I was Josh got weed. <laughs> to these runs and you're all riding around choppers but my favorite thing to do with these runs is introduce myself to new people and if I'm lucky enough and they feel comfortable enough to talk to me it's just figuring out who they are and what they do I don't give a fuck about motorcycles or any of that like who are you what brought you here above the bar look it's a patch you're sitting next to this dude at the bar and whatever, and, he, and to you he just looks like a biker, but that's one of the greatest fucking illustrators on the face of the fucking earth, dude. That's like a new Norman Rockwell. Yeah. And in that group, there's all kinds of those people. You guys ready? Coupling up and riding with, with a friend for years, like, I can ride with them, and I can just know by the way they twitch their knee. Yeah. Which they're, where, where they're going to go. go, go. Yeah. When you see somebody pull up on one of these crazy fucking motorcycles, you know that even if you don't agree with each other politically, or you don't have the same beliefs or whatever, or you know maybe they grew up a different way than you or a different place than you and you don't have much in common, you know that that is one crazy son of a bitch that threw his leg over that thing and is willing to ride it around. So there is just a respect that exists. And everybody, I mean, I don't care who you are. You could be the biggest square, like, kook that's ever walked the face of the earth. And when we pull into the gas station, there is nobody that sees those bikes pull up and isn't like, what the fuck is that? You were bouncing eight inches off the ground, yeah. it seemed like. He was just like, looking at me, and he was just like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> There's almost no coming back from that. Let me see this. Yeah, something very bad happened here. That shit is hot as a fucking... Uh, yeah, like, we, we bent the thing. Oh, it built the bolt. Okay, um, okay, push it, push it down. I had it in the wrong hole. Oh, shit, that's, hold on. Wrong but, hole, oh, Busby. It's been yeah. too many years hold since on. I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that hole come from, Ken? Sorry, Ken. Oh, I thought it was worse. difficult to get no, that no, bolt No, no, you're doing me a favor. Bingo. Sorry, Ken. I ruined everything. I'm gonna go. Come on. 
I stopped bringing hardware for some weird reason because I would bring. I brought it for years and years, and nobody ever used it. Who needs hardware when you have Ken Nagahara? Well, dude, I mean, fucking hardware. But what if Ken's not there? I get it. What if Ken and Eric are not there, dude? So now I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put together just like Eric had, like a little satchel, all the usual suspects. And some weird randos, because Eric had some randos in there that saved the fucking day. You know, what was awesome for me was hearing how many people brought up the memory of Troy in, in this thing, because it, because that really is what's important. And Troy's bike is right fucking there, riding with us. I you know, know. With the dragons on the tank and fuck. And the fact that Matt Busby is riding him. Busby on this it's thing. Just fucking couldn't even get better, dude. He was a great leader, and he created a legacy not only with his children, but he started back up a run that's been dead for over 30 years and now that legacy lives <laughs> hey, hey on a real note everybody bring it in bring it in bring it in let's get close let's get close chug it up chug chug it it's been really good to see the support from everybody to continue this thing on we got a fucking great year this year glad everybody fucking made it safe to this point Let's have some fun. This is about Troy, and this is about all of us getting together and riding old bikes and having fun. Besides that, just have fun and be safe. Can we get a three or four for Troy? Can we get a three or four yeah. seconds, Joe? Yeah. Seriously, party. Yeah. Get, get closer. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's gonna die today! To me, that's almost one of the greatest things about this DVR is just how many times there was an homage to Troy. Because none of us would be doing this if he hadn't decided, you know what? I heard about this Death Valley fucking run and I want to start it back up. Cody's got technique. He's got the snake. I think it's a testament to how men get together. Yeah. We can beef and we can fucking freak out and punch each other and get crazy just and then turn come back to next gorillas. day and be like, hey, bro. Yeah, give me a hug. Let's just move on from this, yeah. you know? What happens on the you do not hug Oh, you got it. It runs probably, right? It was running, yeah. Yeah, it was running, yeah. yeah. Dusting everyone. <laughs> The good news is you can always check your timing quickly. <laughs> and then wrap it in e-tape and then thread it in there. That's that's pretty good right there. Yeah. We're going to call you Corky. That's <laughs> way worse nicknames than Corky, though, for the record. How's that uh, artisanal sandwich? This is one of the worst things I've ever eaten in my life. I have some tasty mushrooms if you can get over it. there if you'd like some. Oh, I'd love some. Exit. There you go. Earth. All right, let's go get some food. Were you there the night he was changing the tire for Chase? Yeah. He was like giving the tutorial like it yeah. was a class. I mean, he lived, eats, breathes, shits this stuff. <laughs> Finally. Wait. <laughs> that thing's schmegma. Everybody pull! No, the other way! God damn it. Hey, I could do this by myself if you guys just give me a spoon. Yeah. Do it, dude, dude, quick. Oh! Like, got it! it. Yeah, right there, like, boy! That <laughs> That's that how you start something sexy. Dude, bite your lip. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shut I the fuck out. up. I don't see you up here teaching this class. <laughs> oh. not, this is not time for applause. <laughs> class, guys. Which side? That side. You want to? Okay, guys, let's go. But this is wrong. <laughs> You're gonna put it on. Right. This is right. <laughs> Turn the wheel. Okay, stop, stop, stop. This is when you go like this. Hey, pay attention. These spoons are fucking kooky. <laughs> oh, they're yours? No, you're cold, hey. You're cold. They're, they're stop, cold. everybody. No, no. Don't look each other in the eyes. <laughs> no, guys, you guys don't want it like I do. No, you guys Stop. I, I heard you gotta want it. He's all motion. Chill. Dude, for yeah. less. Everybody you shut up. You take PayPal. <laughs> right. take, don't hurt yourself. No, that's not how you do it. Don't hurt yourself, my son. Yeah. Ah. Oh, 
this shit could <laughs> still be popped. For right, real. Right, right. I got sun all over. Turn your backs right now. I will. Oh my god. <laughs> go watch them. Is, You'll get, is it working? You go blind if you watch them. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> <laughs> Back in his mouth. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, it's moving. It's working. It's Dude, it is working. Yeah, it works. Yeah, you beat it. That's, that's my son. Look at him jack off. Dude, he's fucking good. He's, he's a good. good. Look at his dirty hands. How can you not be? <laughs> Would you take a nap where you been? No, I can't even. What the hell? Kenny! Ah! I got you. Oh, no! Beach, speech. Like I got Five second chunk. This hey, is this is to my son, Kenny. <laughs> we cut his foreskin off two years ago. What happened to Kenny? <laughs> what happened to Kenny? Kenny? Happy <laughs> Bar Mitzvah, Kenny! <laughs> Who killed Kenny? I mean, it's fucking awesome. I'm so stoked to be able to call him a friend, and he's one of the guys that welcomed me into this. <laughs> Get back to work. What kind of Yelp review are you trying to get? Oh, back to work, I mean, here. dude, you get a negative Yelp one time, you're fucked. Dude. You're fucked, man. Dude, you gotta pop up again like you just did. <laughs> That was it. Yeah. Oh, good morning. This DVR was exceptionally it was fantastic. magical. Yeah. Even though I didn't stay up till four and not sleep with these guys, I had more fun over these two, three days than I've I've had in years and years. I can't even remember. Ripping my hair off. <laughs> You got a fun little project here, Eric? Always. It's like every year right here, working on this bike. <laughs> every year right here. <laughs> Most prepared chopper guy. And that's what... <clears throat> that bucks me every I day. I know, that's the curse. everything and I think that when you see this group like the DVR group roll through and you know and I guess it's it's it isn't not for everybody you know you do kind of have to be in there but everybody that's in there is like a person that deserves to be in there and I think that there's enough of us that are so welcoming to new people getting into it that I think you know, we're gonna have some longevity with this that's longer than I think maybe historical biker scenes that have happened. Not only that, but it's also it's also the, me the mechanical aspect when your bike is running really well, it's pure bliss because all the hard work and all the shit that you went through to get that thing to where it's at and it's, it's doing what you engineered it to do. It's there's, all a bonus. There's no better feeling and there's no worse feeling when then it just, yeah, and well, you know it's going to come right afterwards. You, you try not to think about it. Fuse doctor. Did, did you get confusolated? That was all. When he yeah, yeah, stopped, I was like, fuck, man. Fuck's going to catch us. No bike, no builder, no welder, no fabricator can create a Harley Davidson chopper with a rigid frame with, that is not going to break. No. And you don't get to choose when it breaks, but it will. I build show bikes and uh, and you know we have some friends that have had like you know more show oriented bike bikes that are beautiful and have killer design details but the problem is if you really put miles on those bikes you realize really quickly that a lot of the cool shit you do is sucks to fix on the road yeah it's all there a lot of vibration and uh, I lost a bolt to my rear exhaust bike I don't understand I don't see any crack anything crazy right I mean when I left for Born Free, I just kind of like swept everything that was on the bench into a cardboard box and drove out here. And I never went home. 
That's how you. That's how you moved to California. Yeah, right. That is how it happens. When I was 18, on my shovel head, my license plate fell off. I just ran it for like a year and a half without a license plate. <laughs> Fucking every time a cop got behind me, I'd go right turn, left turn, right turn, right turn, right turn, right turn left turn. You know, just get the fuck out of there. Say, what's your name, man? Marcus. I'm Todd. Todd, nice to meet you. Guys. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. You know the rest of these guys? No. You built a killer bike, Marcus. Death Valley is truly the ultimate shakedown of a motorcycle. Yeah. Fuck Not easy yeah. on your motorcycle valley either. <laughs> Maybe. Chopper before that. Uh... Jeez, you got a fucking camel pack in there? Yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens, right? Yeah. because I lost a bolt in the fucking oil tank too. <laughs> are, are you only suspended by the front? I bet you that's it, so, it, oh fuck yeah, I'm loose as fuck now. Yeah, that's gonna snap oh, some of shit. Oh, wait, hey, I'm glad you checked that. We gotta get in there. Pull that bag of hardware back out, let's fucking put a bolt in. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hardware store. <laughs> Quick run to the hardware store here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, but that'll go up. Yeah. There you go, bingo. Yeah, but I gotta get the bolt back. Are the that's bolts still in there? Good. Oh, so you need the nuts. Yeah. Oh, there's two. Yeah, can't yeah, even get to that one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even go to anything. That's decorative. That's this, decorative. Uh, this is uh, a show I'm bike. Gonna I'm gonna need another hand. What are you, what are you holding up? No, I'm holding up the battery. I think I'm holding it up with this hand right here. Okay. I'm holding up the battery tray from below. Oh. Okay, hold We got on. everybody hold the battery tray. <laughs> Mother bitch. Did it fall down? Yeah, that's right. Is it gonna be quicker to take out the battery and do this and then fucking put it back in? Should we take off the tire? Make it, yeah. And then cut through the fender. Right. I mean, you can try. I just don't. I'm looking at your finger. I'm looking so. at the size of the oil in the back. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, I'm looking at that fucking that Polish sausage there. I was here to catch it. Fixed it. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you over there. We'll see you down there. 266 to Highway 71, State Highway 71. Well, I'm following you, so. I know where it is. I just want to set my tent up in the light. I want to see the light. Yeah, that was my first introduction. I was, I was like, hey man, what's your name? Yeah. I didn't even know it was him, when, but he was waving like, fuck, I'm in trouble. And so yeah. we just pulled over and then I walk up and I see the bike. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? This is a yeah. beautiful bike. Unbelievable bike. Beautiful. Killer fucking motorcycle. I, I loved every part of it. He set his bike up to look killer as show and then all the things that are killing us to get it back together are like the beautiful show aspects of it. You know, it's and hard. It's hard to ride show bikes, no matter how practical off they are. To riding a show yeah. bike on DVO, it is hard to ride show bikes. Dude, you were so fucking close. I was so close. You're so close. I'm doomed. I'm doomed on the rest. we we don't go back from here, right? Yeah, we go the same way back. Oh fuck, little devil, do you? Little dab. We lost the sun. It's really beautiful coming in here. Yeah, it started getting a little chilly, but I was like, oh, we're so close, I'm not gonna pull over. And, and it is no shock to me at all that these two guys that have never met live in two completely different parts of the country that share this one friend who has the same kind of emotional attributes as, you know, as, as I do, as he does now that I know him a little bit better. Just get on like that. It looked beautiful. I was looking at it, I was like, I'm, I'm what could be wrong with this engine? Do not. Let's, let's fix it. Right. Let's fix it tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow we fix it. We just want to drive my off the van or something. What's going to suck is I'm going to ride it. But Nick is so much like, you don't need to so rad. Will you ride this piece of shit all the way to fucking wherever the fuck we're going? How many years have you guys come here? Is this three or four? Well, last time we were here was 2018. I think you guys are my favorite group. Part of me is like, to be honest with you, is like, worry a little more about you than the Christian motorcycle guys. Yeah. But you guys are way more fun. Are oh, you ready? But, uh, is it my turn? <laughs> and we got a one! Miraculously.
clutch adjustment there. Yeah, a little tightening of the clutch. That's what I'm What'd you bring there? Where's your coffee? Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ryan. You need a hand? <laughs> Wait a minute. Would you come on? What are you drinking there? A little pill bottle? So I can shake it up. Ah. Uh, Viagra. Yeah, it, it makes my dick grow bigger. Dugan's ready. Dugan's never. I figure if we all just fucking go, you know, <laughs> if ten people fucking die and somebody we pool our gas and they go and get some more gas and yeah. They, well, they said last night that. Yeah, he's got well, gas. Gas is everybody out. Oh, okay. Ho oh, ho, handsome. Morning. 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 I just sleep. I slept great for three hours. <laughs> Back in the hole, but... All right, here we go. And then did think... we lose? Did we? Lo oh, so this one we're gonna have to do the same thing. Well, we gotta lift the whole thing up. Did you get it? Okay, now hold on. Now, is, am I disengaged? Now you got a wrench on it? No, I'm just gonna go as much with it by hand as I can. <clears throat> All right, that's us on that side. There's something about a show by you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now, dude. <laughs> it's not gonna fly anyway, just it pulled it back into place. Oh, you, you're fucking cooking with gas right there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can okay. you reach all the way around the back of the oil feed line? Tom can definitely reach around. I, I'm pretty good at the reach around. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on, hold on. Lift that bolt up just a little bit. But wait, 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 before you do that. If you need any more hardware, Ken's here. Oh, yeah. You know he's got it in his pocket. Start calling you Ace. <laughs> more, hold on. Oh, yep. Okay. More. 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 Come okay. through the first one. The, okay. the bottom one has to come back a little. I can see it. It's, okay, hold on. Oh. Fuck. Keep it just like that. Do not let anything. Okay. Okay. Now. Now try it. Right. Oh my fucking god, I can't Did you get it? believe we did that. Oh! That's the sound I'm gonna hear today. <laughs> oh my god! I heard it, it goes <laughs> What's that game where you, where you, you have a Let's foot on a blue and a hand on a red? You know what I'm talking about? Twister? You know, Twister, that was like a game of Twister, man. I can't even believe we did it. I'm gonna be talking about that <laughs> on fucking old and great. Shit, it's staying now. Fuck yeah. Oh, did you guys get that fucking bolted in? Yeah, yeah. Dude. Where have you been? There's breakfast. I've been having fucking a good time not working on motorcycles. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> yeah, how do you even have a good time? Yeah, right. How'd it feel? Better than it did yesterday. <laughs> A lot better than it did yesterday. Here we go. Oftentimes you'll meet somebody and be like, oh, that's cool how they did that. I, I love it. I love the solutions. And like, I get a lot of great ideas hanging around guys smarter than me. Feel good? I stare at choppers every fucking day. And when I go to DVR, I walk that fucking line. And every time I do it, I see something I've never seen before. It's like motorcycle puberty every day of your life and you never grow out of it. What's killer is when you meet the people, you get to see how their brains work too by looking at their bike. There's yeah. so many characteristics that come through in the bike and you're like, oh yeah, that guy should be riding that bike. Yeah. It's like people who look like their pets. It's exactly, like exactly. People. I was just about you to say You look like that. your bike. Yeah, exactly. Motor shut down. They, they got some sort of problem back there. All righty, Whitey. Back there. Guys on the line said somebody was off like three miles back. Cody, I think. Co it Cody? Oh, Cody and his buddies. Okay. One cylinder. Uh, One cilantro. Oh, so bueno. Come on, baby. Well, now we're not getting anything. So. Do you want me to pull my plug wires and we just try a new set? See if that's off and then they're going to come towards that. Plug wire swap room. They're all pretty much the same size. <laughs> I and then here's the fuel shut off valve. 
I want to see it. See? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I was like, took more gas than I thought. Well, just think about how many times in the last 12 years we've been riding these shitty old Harleys. How many times you've almost died on it? it I, I mean, I don't even ride as much as you, and it's, it's a, probably a hundred times I've almost died on that motorcycle. And reaction time on the road, like when, when we pulled into that gas station before we headed off on the 373, and Paul Green and that group were talking about how they almost got killed by that fucking uh, uh, camper that oh went by. God. Is it camper? And camper and a semi. And honestly, like... This close to the semi, that was, that, it was fucking hard. Oh my god. Like, it was scary. It was yeah. one, oh, one yeah. foot. It was insane. It, right. it was like the craziest thing. The guy was just like, what? The guy was just kind of like, what the fuck is happening? And everyone started slowing down. And then he like, I was just like, dude, the transport truck's like, it was just like, 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 literally insane. We would all been toast. It was crazy. Not At, like, we would, there was like, it would have been like, insane. Yeah. That's a group of guys that ride together all the time. They are best friends. That is the exact group you need to handle that situation because they were able to move together as a group, react as a group, and it saved their lives. Just like that. And man, the older we get, as many as we've lost, it's like just the fucking crazy shit we do. You never know when it's the last time you're seeing someone. You, never, you really don't. That I mean, that is enough to teach you right there where like a goodbye, a real goodbye, is one of the most meaningful yeah. things you can give or receive in life from other people. You were there the night I got the call that my parents passed away. That, that still to this day is one of the most emotional experiences I've gone through. Yeah, that was a big one, man. Yeah. Um, and I always say, imagine somebody walking up to you and you saying, hey, man, that seemed like a serious conversation. What the fuck is that? And you, your exact words, I'll never forget it, were, I don't know if I want to tell you. There, oh, you're almost there. <laughs> oh, that was close. And for a second there, I was, I was really worried about you. And you were a mess, man. Four in there, so shoot three, leave one for blue ball. But the way that you kind of gone full circle to where you are now. Oh, that fuck. was my kill shot, damn it. It could have been. Go! Yeah. yeah! It's just like, I just don't know if, if I could have done it, handled it that well. Man. I couldn't have done it if you guys weren't there. Oh, <laughs> And you guys treated it just right. You showed concern, but so much encouragement to get on the horse and still go. just trying to press you to go. Well, our bikes are still here at least. Crack shot toddy. <laughs> That's good because we're out of ammo. That's it. That was the last, literally the last shot. I think that's why I like riding bikes that challenge me on that level because I get to put that energy to use. Yeah. You know, the longer I'm in it, the more I realize how real this is. Like, the camaraderie. It's a beautiful It's a beautiful thing. And there's a brotherhood and a camaraderie that exists through that because it's a thing that you do by yourself, but the group makes it better, you know? And the group is what pushes you to do great things. <laughs> You can never put into words the magic of riding a chopper. I don't care if it's fucking raining, snowing, beautiful sunset, windy, fucking miserable. <laughs> it's better than any day doing anything else. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I, you know what it is? It's a flow state combined with a pattern of struggle that challenges you. And that's motorcycles, people, oh, if you're listening. I mean, it's every awesome natural experience you can ever imagine happening at breakneck speed throughout the day. Even in its worst, it's the greatest thing in the world. Really. Well, when we were riding through that sunset last night, it occurred to me that this is the fantasy. It does yeah. not get any better, but it, it lives up to the fantasy. Yeah. Every bit of it. It's the fucking life, dude. It really is. It's the fucking life. You can't say enough about it. Did you. you even turn a wrench on your bike? No, oh, I never wrench. saw you turn a fucking wrench on your bike. Not one wrench.
I cannot believe how good we all did with until Eric's little hiccup. I really God, thought, I thought we were, really we were going to bang the whole we way home. And I cannot wait to see what's behind that fucking kicker lid. Don't rip it. Here, try to pull it. It's in one piece. Bearing spins. Push rod is out. Yeah, check the end. Is the push rod just chewed off to the point where it won't even hit? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so that's out. Now we need that screwdriver again. Dude, that's a fucking stupid thing to fail. It cracked. It's a straight up crack. Sort of weird. It's 70 miles from home, and now it's just like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? Hi, Mom. How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> Never a dull moment. This is what I do on vacation. This is how we relax. <laughs> this fucking stretch always gets someone. It's crazy. It's cursed. Sometimes I like to imagine what people driving by think of us. You ever thought about that? They were gonna think there were some hippies out here trying to like... Well, there are. Look at us. Josh looks like one of the village people. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely the police. Tom's... Was there just a pissed off one? one? <laughs> I think it was a construction worker. Yeah, Eric, who do you want to be? Sexy firefighter? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Good call. Done. Thanks. So we still have two hours. Just to get... Oh my, get a truck. These could be the ounces that get us there though. I know. Critical. I mean, do you still see it coming out? Because it doesn't seem like the level's changing at all. All right, let's call it good then. <laughs> Sidecar saves the day. Oh, Eric, seat belts. Eric's failure happened two hours from the house. So it's like after our whole trip. So like we really got to bang it out. I mean, that was fucking awesome. And yeah. then and we had a sidecar to haul his ass home in. It, I mean, it was magical. Literally Josh magical. shows up. I imagine he left the sidecar on there because he didn't have time to take it off. And it saved our ass. You can't write that shit. <laughs> Dude, I may never go on a trip again without Josh in a sidecar.